Welcome to this special episode of Passing News. In the hallowed halls of baseball history, legends never truly leave the field. They live on, their stories etched into the very fabric of the game. But what about those who were honored not during the bright days of their careers, but in the quiet reflection that followed their passing? Today, we journey through time to unveil the stories of seven extraordinary players whose legacies were immortalized in the Hall of Fame only after they had played their final innings. From the tragic early departure of heroes like Roberto Clemente and Lou Gehrig, to the mysterious and untimely end of stars like Ed Delahanty, each of these players left a mark that not even death could erase. Join us as we explore their legendary careers, their lasting impact on the game, and the profound moments that led to their enshrinement among the immortals of baseball. If you appreciate this video, please show your support with a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for similar videos on baseball's rich history. Ron Santo, a legendary third baseman for the Chicago Cubs, passed away on December 3, 2010, after a long battle with bladder cancer and complications from diabetes. His enduring legacy and significant impact on the game were honored when he was posthumously inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2012 a recognition many of his supporters felt was overdue. Santo was a cornerstone of the Chicago Cubs throughout the 1960s and early 1970s, epitomizing the spirit and passion of the franchise. Over his 15-season career, he amassed impressive statistics, including 342 home runs and 1,331 RBIs, and maintained a .277 career batting average. Notably, Santo was a nine-time All-Star and won five Gold Glove Awards, highlighting his excellence at third base. Beyond his statistical achievements, Santo was beloved for his fiery competitiveness and emotional presence on the field. He was particularly famous for heel-clicking after Cubs victories, a gesture that endeared him to fans and symbolized the joy and enthusiasm he brought to the game. His leadership and determination were palpable, serving as a rallying point for the team and its fan base during his tenure. Santo's impact extended beyond the diamond, especially in his role as a broadcaster for the Cubs after his playing days ended. His candid commentary and unabashed love for the Cubs further cemented his status as a fan favorite. Moreover, Santo was a tireless advocate for diabetes awareness and research, openly discussing his struggles with the disease and helping to raise millions for research and care. His induction into the Hall of Fame not only commemorated his outstanding on-field performances, but also recognized his contributions to the community and his influence as one of the most beloved figures in Cubs history. Ron Santo's legacy is characterized by his passion for baseball, his resilience in the face of adversity, and his lifelong dedication to the sport and its fans. Stay with us as we uncover more tales of triumph and tragedy from the lives of baseball's posthumous Hall of Famers. One such tale is that of Ed Delahanty, whose brilliant career met a mysterious and dramatic end. What happened on that fateful night at Niagara Falls? Stay tuned to the end as we delve into the enigmatic circumstances surrounding the untimely demise of one of baseball's earliest stars. Lou Gehrig, the legendary New York Yankees first baseman, passed away on June 2, 1941, due to amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, a disease that would later bear his name as Lou Gehrig's disease. In a testament to his monumental impact on baseball and the profound respect he commanded, Gehrig was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame later that same year, 1941, marking one of the quickest inductions after a player's death in the history of the sport. Known as the Iron Horse for his remarkable durability, Gehrig's consecutive game streak of 2,130 games stood as a record for 56 years and became a symbol of his reliability and strength. Over his 17-year career with the Yankees, Gehrig compiled a .340 batting average, hit 493 home runs, and drove in 1,995 runs. His prowess at the plate was matched by his consistency and resilience making him one of the most formidable hitters of his time. Gehrig's greatness extended beyond mere statistics. He was a key component of the Yankees' murderer's row, helping the team to six World Series titles. His most famous speech, delivered on July 4, 1939, at Yankee Stadium dubbed 
the luckiest man on the face of the earth, remains one of the most poignant moments in sports history, exemplifying his grace and character. The reason for Gehrig's induction into the Hall of Fame goes beyond his on-field excellence. It was also a recognition of his character and the courage with which he faced his debilitating illness. His legacy is not only preserved in the records he set and the games he won, but in the enduring respect and admiration that he commands from fans and players alike. Lou Gehrig remains an eternal symbol of heroism and humility in the face of adversity. Roberto Clemente tragically passed away on December 31st, 1972, when his plane crashed en route to deliver aid to earthquake victims in Nicaragua. In recognition of his profound impact both on and off the baseball field, Clemente was posthumously inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1973. Clemente was more than just a baseball player. He was a humanitarian whose legacy transcends his athletic achievements. On the field, Clemente was known for his extraordinary arm strength, defensive abilities, and his powerful hitting. Over his 18-year career with the Pittsburgh Pirates, he amassed exactly 3,000 hits, a milestone he reached in the last at-bat of his career, symbolizing his enduring excellence. He finished his career with a .317 batting average and won 12 Gold Glove Awards, showcasing his defensive prowess in right field. Clemente's greatness was also marked by his performance in clutch situations, particularly during the postseason. He played in two World Series, shining brightly in 1971 when he helped lead the Pirates to a championship, hitting .414 across seven games against the Baltimore Orioles and earning World Series MVP honors. His induction into the Hall of Fame was not only a nod to these impressive statistics and performances, but also an acknowledgement of his role as a trailblazer for Latin American players. Clemente was the first Caribbean and Latin American player to be enshrined in Cooperstown, paving the way for future generations of players from these regions. Roberto Clemente remains a hero not only to the city of Pittsburgh and fans of baseball, but to all those who admire courage, compassion, and the pursuit of equality. Christy Mathewson, one of baseball's original pitching greats, passed away on October 7, 1925, from tuberculosis, a condition exacerbated by his exposure to chemical weapons during World War I. Recognized for his outstanding contributions to the game, Mathewson was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1936 as one of its five original inductees, affirming his status as a foundational figure in the sports history. Throughout his career, Mathewson was celebrated for his exceptional pitching prowess in sportsmanship. Pitching for the New York Giants, he amassed a staggering 373 wins, tied for the third most in Major League history. His career ERA of 2.13 and 79 career shutouts remain among the best in the game, showcasing his dominance on the mound during the dead ball era. Mathewson also threw three shutouts in the 1905 World Series a monumental achievement that still stands as one of the greatest pitching performances in postseason history. Mathewson's impact went beyond his statistical achievements. Known as the Christian gentleman, he was revered for his integrity and character, setting a standard for conduct in the major leagues. His gentlemanly demeanor and intellectual approach to pitching helped elevate the public perception of baseball players during a time when the sport was battling image issues related to gambling and rough behavior. His induction into the Hall of Fame recognizes not only his extraordinary skills and accomplishments, but also his role in transforming baseball into a respected and beloved American pastime. Harry Heilman, a remarkable outfielder primarily for the Detroit Tigers, passed away on July 9, 1951, due to lung cancer. He was posthumously inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1952, reflecting the lasting impact of his illustrious career and the high regard in which he was held by the baseball community. Heilman was one of the premier hitters of the 1920s, consistently posting batting averages that remain awe-inspiring today. He won the American League batting title four times during his career, posting averages over .390 in three of those seasons. His career batting average of .342 is one of the highest in Major League history, underscoring his prowess at the plate. Heilman amassed 2,660 hits 
and 1,539 RBIs over his career, solidifying his reputation as a dominant offensive player. His 1923 season stands out as a particularly extraordinary campaign where he batted .403 the first right-handed batter to top .400 since the dead ball era. This achievement highlighted his exceptional hand-eye coordination and ability to adjust his hitting approach based on the situation. Despite playing in an era overshadowed by the likes of Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig, Heilmanhin's consistency and skill set him apart as one of the era's great hitters. Beyond his statistical accomplishments, Heilman's gentle demeanor and professionalism made him a respected figure among teammates and rivals alike. After his playing days, he transitioned to broadcasting, where he continued to contribute to the sport by bringing baseball into the homes of fans, enhancing his legacy in the Tigers community. Harry Heilmanin's induction into the Hall of Fame was a fitting tribute to his exceptional skills as a hitter and his contributions to baseball both on and off the field. His career remains a benchmark for excellence in hitting and an example of sportsmanship and dedication to the game. Rube Waddell, one of baseball's most colorful and eccentric characters, passed away on April 1, 1914, from tuberculosis exacerbated by his long-standing battle with various ailments. Recognized for his unique talents and contributions to the sport, Waddell was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1946 a testament to his enduring legacy as one of the game's early pitching stars. Waddell's major league career, predominantly with the Philadelphia Athletics, was marked by a series of spectacular performances and odd antics that made him a fan favorite and a constant source of headlines. He led the American League in strikeouts for six consecutive seasons from 1902 to 1907, showcasing a powerful left arm that baffled hitters with its speed and movement. His record of 349 strikeouts in a single season in 1904 stood unmatched for over half a century. Beyond his impressive strikeout numbers, Waddell's ERA of 2.16 in his 50 shutouts over a 13-year career highlight his dominance on the mound. He possessed a remarkable ability to pitch extensive innings and complete games, a necessity in his era, often elevating his team's chances of victory through sheer will and stamina. Waddell's larger-than-life personality included antics such as leaving the mound to chase fire trucks during games and wrestling alligators in the offseason, adding a layer of folklore to his sporting achievements. Despite these distractions, his raw talent and impact were undeniable, making him one of the most formidable pitchers of his time. His induction into the Hall of Fame reflects not only his statistical achievements, but also the indelible mark he left on the sport through his vibrant personality and unmatched skill. Rube Waddle remains a legendary figure in baseball history, remembered as much for his eccentricities as his exceptional pitching prowess. Ed Delahanty, renowned for his powerful hitting and dramatic life, tragically died on July 2, 1903, under mysterious circumstances when he fell into Niagara Falls. This enigmatic end only added to the legend of one of baseball's earliest stars. He was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1945, recognizing his remarkable contributions to the sport during baseball's formative years. Delahanty's career batting average of .346 is one of the highest in the history of Major League Baseball, reflecting his exceptional skill as a hitter. He won the batting title in 1899 with an impressive .410 average, showcasing his ability to dominate pitchers during an era known for its tough, raw style of play. Delahanty also exhibited power, hitting over 100 home runs, a significant tally for the dead ball era, and leading the league in slugging percentage in RBIs multiple times. His 1896 season was particularly historic. Delahanty hit four home runs in a single game, becoming one of only a few players to achieve this feat at the time, and still a rare occurrence in today's game. Such performances helped cement his reputation as one of the most feared batters of his time. Beyond his prowess at the plate, Delahanty was known for his all-around skills, contributing significantly in the outfield and on the base paths. His athletic ability and competitive nature made him a key figure on every team he played for, primarily the Philadelphia Phillies and later the Washington Senators. Ed Delahanty's induction into the Hall of Fame 
celebrates not only his extraordinary batting skills, but also his impact on the game's early development. His story, marked by both brilliance and tragedy, remains a compelling chapter in the annals of baseball history. If you enjoyed exploring the fascinating lives and careers of these Hall of Famers, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to our channel for more captivating tales from the world of sports. Share your memories in the comments below and help keep the rich history of baseball alive. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep celebrating the greats of the game.